Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today. I would like to do a tutorial and share it with you. Uh, making a shaker card using the Winter Woodland Cricut cartridge. I've already selected the image. It's the card feature here and I've cut that at seven inches. I also have my supplies ready. I will be doing some heat embossing. So I have my Versamark. I have my foam tape, some sequins and shaker bits. And I also have some of my stamps ready to go for the embossing. And I've cut my acetate just a smidgen smaller than my card. I'll show you how I um, separated the pieces and what we'll use those for. So my card base is six and three quarters by four and a quarter. I've got that. So I'm going to move some of these items and I'm going to show you what the cutout looks like. Uh, it is cut in one piece. And this is normally where you score it. I've actually cut that away. So we will be using this piece for the inside of the card. And this one will be turned into our shaker portion, the front of our shaker portion. So stay tuned. I'll be right back and we'll get started. All right. What I've done so far is I've stamped the greetings with my Versamark. And I've done some snowflakes, and then I put Christmas up here so it'll read Christmas greetings. On this inside piece, I've gone ahead and done the same thing, but I, I've already uh, added my embossing powder and heat set this. And so this is what it looks like when it's heat embossed. So I'm going to go ahead and add my, uh, add my embossing powder and do the same thing to this bottom piece. So I've heat embossed my design on my card and now I'm going to attach the acetate to the back. So I'm going to flip it over and my acetate has this white sheet that I'll peel off um, and after I center it on here. It helps to see the acetate a little bit better when you um, place it on your image. So what I'm going to do is add white glue to the center letter letters. Just like this. And then I'll use my ATG for the edges. And I'm just going to, yeah, it's almost cut exactly the same size, just a little bit smaller. So I'm going to add adhesive to the edges. Okay. I'm going to line that up. And I'm going to get my piece of acetate. And try to center it as well as I can on my piece here. Let's see. I guess I'm gonna have to go with that. All right. Now, if I do have any that is overlapping, I'll just go ahead and trim that away. And I can use my cutter for that, so I'm going to grab that. It just makes it easier for me to do the, to use my cutter and keep everything straight. piece away and then right here on this side as well and I think I have a little bit at the top and since only part of it is showing I think I'll just use my scissors on that one 
There's not much peeking out, just a tiny tab. Okay, so there we go. I've got that done. And the next thing I'll be doing is adding my foam tape to the back. And I'll return when I've got that completed. So this is what the back looks like once I've added my double layer of foam tape. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get my card base. And I'm going to peel away three of the sides, or maybe even two. And that way I will be able to scoot the shaker bits into the opening without uh, spilling any of them or them escaping. So let's go ahead and peel away this part and this section here. And then I do have the bottom here that's cut into two pieces. I think I'll go ahead and peel this part away as well. And so I have a small section here and this area here that I have not removed the backing. So let's go ahead and center this onto the card front. There we go. Okay, so that is down in one good adhesion. And now we have this access little section here to add our sprinkles. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to raise my camera up just a little bit so you can get, I think it was a little too close. So I'm going to add some of the bigger pieces first. I have these uh, pretty flat buttons. They're snowflake plastic buttons. So I'm going to stick those in there. And then I have some sprinkles. And those are in. And I'm going to grab one more thing. So I'm going to pause and then I'm going to come right back. Okay, so I have this glittery snow that I want to add a little bit into my little shaker. So I'm going to just open that up, sprinkle a little bit in there. I think that's enough. I don't want that much. And it's always helpful to have a little paintbrush stick to push that down in there. And now everything is contained and I can go ahead and pull off the remaining uh, backing for my foam tape and seal everything up. And there we have our shaker card. Just mix everything up. Isn't that just darling? I just love it. It's so cute. Um, now, the last thing that I need to do is add my inside piece. Make sure you open up your card and have it facing the correct way. And I'll add adhesive to the back of this. Open this up and add this to the inside. And there we go, guys. Look at how adorable that turned out. This is flat enough that you can put it into an envelope and mail it off. Um, hopefully it won't be any additional postage, but I tried to keep it as flat as I could to try and uh, make it easier for mailing. So I'm gonna just zoom in. And give you a final look at this beautiful shaker card using my Cricut cartridge. There we go. <laughs> All right. Thanks everyone for watching. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. And thanks everyone again for watching and joining me today. Take care.